Hi, my name is Annabelle. I'm a final year medical engineering student um, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about your first year modules. Um, so first up, you'll be doing engineering analysis. Um, you'll do this for both semesters, so there's two modules for it. And basically this is just to catch everybody up to the same place in maths. Um, so you'll be looking at integration and differentiation again. Um, you'll be looking at linear algebra, um, number systems, different things like that. So a lot of it is stuff that you will have done at A-level. Um, particularly if you've done further maths, you probably will have covered it before. Um, but it's a good reminder and it's taking things a little bit further um, to make sure that everybody is in the same place with it. So that is your engineering analysis module. Um, the first one will be in the first semester from September through till Christmas. And then the second semester will be through till the summer. Um, and they get progressively harder as it goes. Um, but it's based on uh, an exam and coursework that you'll do throughout the year. That's for both modules. Um, and it is essentially your maths module to catch everybody up. Um, next up, strength of materials. So this is a module that is focusing on um, things like stress and strain of different materials that you might use um, in your degree and in your careers as engineers. Um, so a lot of it is looking at fatigue and um, elasticity of different things. You're looking at beam theory um, and the stress and strain analysis that you'll be doing in that. Um, this has got some coursework with it as well, so what you'll be doing in your coursework is experimentation. Um, so you might be doing some lab work and seeing the strength of different materials, um, and you'll be performing experiments from that and writing reports about it, which will come into your coursework and be your, um, towards your final grade. Um, so that is the strength of materials module. Um, you will also look at advanced beam theory in that, um, so you'll be looking at inertia in different sections and things like that. Um, and looking at torsion theory and shear stresses and different um, uh, analysis of strength of materials that you might be using. Um, next up is circuit analysis. Um, so you'll be doing this module with electrical engineers and it's very much focused on that side of things. Um, so you've got a couple of electrical engineering modules in your first year. You've got circuit analysis and you've got instrumentation and control as well. Um, so in circuit analysis, you're looking at um, things that you will have touched on if you've done physics, but also taking them a lot further. Um, so you'll be looking at different configurations of circuits and how different, um, uh, different circuit characteristics will relate to that. So you'll be looking at resistance and voltage and current and power and how they all uh, interact. And you'll be looking at how you can set up systems um, for you guys in order to um, model the human body and see things like that. Um, so that's circuit analysis. And then the instrumentation and control is a separate module. Um, so that's looking at more things like op amps um, and very specific uh, variants of op amps that you would practically be able to buy and you would be able to um, use their characteristics and working out if you were modeling a system, what would you want it to look like? How could you use um, what's actually on the market in order to do it? So that is your instrumentation and control module. The next module is one that I actually didn't do in my first year. It's a new one to it, and I think it's a really good one. So it's manufacturing technology. Um, this is very exciting because I did a year in industry last year in manufacturing, and if I'd had this module in my first year, it would have uh, used a lot of those key skills. Um, so you're looking at how stuff is manufactured, how it practically works, um, how a manufacturing company um, runs and what they're doing and their tools that they're using. Um, so you're looking at metal machining, you're looking at cutting tools, um, metal forming, metal casting, glasswork, ceramics, polymers, all sorts of things. For medical engineering, you're using such a huge range of materials. It's really important to know how to manufacture all of them and how to use all of them um, to, use to make your products. So this is looking at the economics and also the practical side of how you can actually use these materials um, for your manufacturing technology. And this is also a big one for accreditation. Um, so when you get to the end of your degree, you want to be accredited and this is one of the modules that will get you there um, because an employer can look at it and be like, OK, this student knows how to um, do use cutting tools. They know how to um, work with glass. They know how to do all those things and they know how to do them safely as well. Um, so this is a really, really important one um, and a very exciting new addition to medical engineering. Then you've got some crossovers with some different uh, engineering modules, uh, some different engineering disciplines, sorry. Um, so your crossovers with the different engineering disciplines, you've got materials engineering. Um, so this is an introduction to materials where you're looking at um, classes and different typical properties of materials, the, the roles of those in um, different designs, particularly mechanical designs. 
um, you're looking at uh, atomic structure of them as well and how it breaks down and how different materials are made up um, and what their structures actually look like and what benefits and what um, difficulties you can find when you're using those materials. Um, you're also looking at uh, polymers a lot, which is very important for medical engineering. Um, sometimes a lot of the things that we're doing is all to do with polymers and different um, composites like that. So this module really helps out with that and really helps you to get a good idea of a whole range of polymers and a whole range of materials that you could use. You also have an introduction to chemical engineering science. Um, this is really useful for all of the practical maths applications. Um, so you'll be looking at dimensional analysis of equations, which you will use throughout your degree. Um, you'll be looking at mass transfer, you'll be looking at ideal gas behaviours, different things like that. Um, so this gives a really good basis in terms of ways of thinking and also in terms of um, looking, at, um, looking at different modules all the way through your degree. This is a very, very useful one. Um, so that's with the chemical engineering science students. Um, and then the two that are most um, medical focused are human physiology and the human neuromuscular skeletal system. Um, so you'll do one in one semester and one in the other. Um, human physiology, you're looking at uh, things that you might have touched on in, things you might have touched on in um, A-level biology. So you'll be looking at the basic biochemistry of the human body. You're looking at the cells, you're looking at nutrients, you're looking at pH in cells, um, the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system different things like that. Um, so it's basically biology. Um, it's really, really important stuff. It's good to get a grounding of it. If you haven't done any biology yet, don't worry, this will catch you up. If you've done it already, then this will remind you and also take things a little bit further. Um, and the other one in that that you'll do in the other semester is the human neuromuscular skeletal system. So this is split into two parts. The first part is similar to physiology, but looking at different body systems. Um, so you're looking at the muscular system and you're looking at the skeletal system a lot. Um, function of the muscles, um, joints and how they work, connective tissues, um, the nervous system, the neuromuscular system, the endocrine system, the digestive system, the urinary system. Um, so it's looking at all of those different things. It's giving you a really broad idea of everything that's going on in the body, um, giving you an understanding of all of those different concepts and all of those, how those things work. Um, and the second part of it is also really exciting. It's an introduction to medical engineering. Um, so once a week you'll have a lecture from a guest lecturer or one of the um, different lecturers in the university and they'll be coming in and talking about their research and uh, different fields in medical engineering. So this is really good to give you a broad view of um, what different people can do, what you might want to do with your degree when you come out the other side um, and getting you really excited about all the things for medical engineering. So in your first year, you'll probably have about 22 hours of contact. Um, this is made up of labs and lectures and meetings with your tutor and things like that. Um, it's also advisable to do some extra study on top of it. So I tend to do a couple of hours extra a day um, just to keep on top of things. Um, but yeah, I hope this has helped. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to get in contact with the university. Um, and I wish you all the best in your course.